The main reason between our achievements is um, teamwork. It's uh, quite simply you know, the group of people that are here at Red Bull Racing and Red Bull Technology working as one unit. And uh, that's obviously taken time to evolve, but we've evolved quickly. We're still a, a young team and to consider the, the four world titles that we've won in, in only seven seasons of competitions is, is something that we're, we're fiercely proud of and, um, and determined to add to. The team's goals are, are quite uh, simple, is to try and retain and defend both, the ta the, both titles in the manner that we, uh, that we achieve them in. And uh, of course, you know, when you've achieved what we have, particularly in 2011, um, we've, we've set a very high standard for ourselves. But we're always looking to improve, we're always looking in all areas to try and do better. And we can't control what our opponents do, we're up against some formidable opponents and um, but we can only really focus on ourselves and only when we get to Melbourne will we truly know where we sit compared to our uh, rivals. Well, Sebastian's season in 2011 was quite remarkable. It was a phenomenal year for him with a record amount of poles, you know, 11 Grand Prix victories, um, you know, it only one uh, non-finish every other race uh, bar one he was on the podium so for him to go better than that is going to be very very challenging but as a driver he's still evolving he's still getting stronger we saw that in 2011 i think we're only going to see it again in 2012 you forget he's only 24 years of age and at such a young age to have achieved so much i think that as he gains experience as he gains knowledge as he matures he's just getting stronger and stronger I think on the, on the grid this year we're going to have six world champions and uh, yeah, McLaren have a strong team, they've got strong uh, strength and depth, they've got two world class drivers, Fernando Alonso, everybody knows his capability and uh, Ferrari obviously also being a great team. We've got Kimi Raikkonen um, coming back as well, Mercedes um, also you know, looking that, like they're going to be competitive. So I think Formula One set for a really exciting year and at Red Bull Racing our goals and objectives are to try and stay ahead of our rivals, to try and build on the success that we have, to try and you know, build on the lessons that we've learned in 2011 and apply them well in, in 2012. But I think the best tonic for Mark was to finish the year strongly, to win that final race, to go into the season, you know, win, having won the, the Brazilian Grand Prix. And I think he's had a very strong um, off season, he's uh, recharged his batteries, he's trained hard, he's come back looking fitter and, and, and leaner than ever. And I think he's now in, uh, you know, in strong shape for the season ahead. Uh, this year's car build has gone uh, fantastically well. I think it's the epitome of, of, of continuity, continuity across all areas and I think we've designed and built this car in a record amount of time, in a, a ridiculously short amount of time. Um, Adrian's never famous for his drawings being early but the design team, the production teams, all the associated departments that go into producing these cars have, you know, they've delivered and delivered in a, in a fantastic way and that we're, we've hit our target of being at the, at the first test so despite the snow um, you know, over the, the latter part of this week, um, you know, we've, we've hit all our targets and I think we're in, in great shape for the first test. Well, the rollout of a new car is always, um, you know, filled with great anticipation. It's almost like going back to school after, you know, for a new school year. And uh, of course, you, you look at, you're keen to see what your rivals are doing. Of course, they're looking to protect their, um, you know, their secrets on their car as well. But uh, pictures are scoured over. We'll um, all be looking at, uh, at, at what rivals have been doing over the winter. It's the longest time that we spend away from each other, from Brazil to the to the first race. So, um, but we'll be very much focused on our own performance. We'll be looking to sign off the first checks, which our systems checks, make sure that the car is performing and, and, and working in accordance with how it was designed um, and get those checks out of the way and then get into uh, testing proper because we have a very short amount of time this year 
only three tests that split with one car between the two drivers. It's a, it's a very short amount of time and few car days for, for each Grand Prix driver before sitting on the grid in Melbourne. Yeah, Sebastian is a product of the uh, Red Bull Junior team. He's had uh, three years um, with Toro Rosso um, and he's now an experienced Grand Prix driver. Um, we decided to uh, retain Sebastian as our test and reserve driver because he knows the team well. He's technically very strong. He has that Grand Prix experience that's wholly relevant and um, he'll be doing a lot of work for us this year on the simulator. He'll be conducting our aerodynamic tests and and other activities so uh, you know it was a logical step for us to take him as a reserve driver not only for Red Bull Racing but also for our sister team at uh, Toro Rosso. Twenty races is a tough is a tough season it's uh, a long year it's going to be a challenge there's a lot of back-to-backs uh, you know races this year to start in March and finish at the end of November but uh, I think with good planning, um, with good preparation, um, it, should be, it should be manageable. And I think it's going to be an exciting season. Of course, there'll be phases of strength for different teams. The most important thing is to be consistent over the full season. And so we'll be determined to try and start strongly in Melbourne and finish strongly in Brazil. I'm very happy with where the team is now. I think that you know, we've evolved as a, as a team, as a unit. I think we have tremendous strength and, and depth. And uh, I think that we've enjoyed great continuity over the last few years as we've evolved. And as departments have worked closely with each other, um, you can see in the detail in the car, in the continuity that we've, that we've had in our production techniques, in our um, development rate, uh, in some of our, our, our simulation tools and uh, that all adds up to uh, achieving you know the kind of teamwork that we that we strive for and so I think we're well set you know for the season ahead you can never take anything for granted we certainly don't underestimate the quality of our uh, you know our opponents but uh, um, you know we're going into 2012 with a lot of determination to keep the two trophies in their cabinets